Good morning ladies and gents, I'm back with another Conquest Play video and this time around we're going to be looking at possibly the worst unit in the game and these being the tier 5 cataphract lancers. Before we get into the video though, hit that subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with the latest and greatest of Conqueror's Blade. So first off I want to apologise, I may sound a little bit different, a little bit croaky, I am not feeling overly great at the minute, uh, but I wanted to make this video because it, it has become very very apparent to me as I have been levelling these guys over the past week just how bad this unit is, and I am not just saying that, I genuinely mean this unit is absolutely trash. So, there have been units in the past which we have all said and moaned about and actually commented on their lackluster kind of performances and they're not very good in these situations of such and such. We have had a Reaper re rework, we have now had a Keshig rework. The tier 5 Cataphrod Lancers know they really, really need a rework really, really badly. Right now, this unit is an utter waste of not only the honor to unlock it, but even the space on the tree because they are just absolutely pointless at unlocking. When I first actually unlocked these guys, I was actually quite looking forward to playing them. And then I got them and I never, ever bothered leveling them because they were just so pants. Even a couple years ago, when there wasn't really anything else in the game, these guys were still massively lackluster back then. Uh, they have had no improvements, they've had no changes, and they are even worse now. So, what I am literally showing you is these guys operating in a PvE environment on Bandit Raids. Bandit Raids do come in three different flavours of easy, medium, and hard. It doesn't matter what difficulty you go in at the Bandit Raid and you take these guys in, these guys get absolutely pummeled into the floor by anything you try and put them up against. These guys have two abilities, they have a Rally to Me ability and they have a Charge ability, but unlike every other unit in the game, I can't even think of another unit that does this, their cooldown is combined, so if you use the Charge, you have to wait a whole minute until you can either use the charge again or you use the rally to me command which is ridiculous totally totally ridiculous and i think it popular possibly was an oversight by the uh, developers way back in the day when they first designed these guys but that combined cooldown of their only two skills as well is absolutely insane Already you are probably starting to see just how useless these guys are and such a waste of leadership and honor to actually unlock them. I, most of my other unit and reviews and everything, I take the units into a PvP kind of siege or field battle as well. Genuinely, I felt like I just could not with these guys because these are so, so bad a unit that it would just have been an utterly pointless kind of experience of doing it because they are just getting absolutely destroyed in a PvE environment. And so what I have done as well is I've actually pulled the attributes from the tier 5 Cataphrate Lancers and the tier 4 Amiga Lancers and we're going to have a little com uh, comparison of them right now. Now the tier 5 because it's a tier 5 unit their leadership is going to be a little bit more so the screen on the left that is the tier 5 unit, the screen on the right is the tier 4 unit. Already you can probably start to see there are some drastic differences <laughs> between them so for that increased leadership you're going to be getting a unit which has less health which has unfortunately less damage as well than the tier 4 unit. Their defense is a little bit higher. I have gone down the defense veterancy line of the tier 5 Lancers. You do not notice any difference genuinely between kind of the, the maxed out tier 5s to the level 1 tier 5s though. They just get, like I said, pummeled into the floor, whatever. Uh, their speed is a lot less than the tier 4 unit. Like I said, the health is less, the damage is less. The penetration is better, but because the damage is less, you don't actually notice any difference there. If anything, actually, they do feel like they don't hit as hard as the tier 4 units. Defenses, like I said, they are a little bit higher, or the piercing and slashing defense are higher, but again, don't notice this because they just kind of sit there. 
don't really do anything, they don't attack that often, you can't, you can only use one of their two skills every minute as well, so the charge, I managed to actually pull off one full charge, it did do a fair bit of damage, but they just kind of stopped and got stuck in the middle of a big blob of units and then just instantly died, so it was totally pointless trying to pop that charge off. Didn't really score me in many kills, just did a lot of damage. But in a PvP environment, these guys would be so lackluster and so pointless in taking them in. You would be a massive detriment to your team, which is just the reason why I didn't bother with these guys. Like I said, I do with all the other units, which I've done reviews on. These, they, they just did so poorly in the PvE. I just could not bring myself to bringing them into PvP because I would just embarrass myself fully more than I usually do. These guys, these tier 5 Catapult Lancers, are a tier 3 unit at best. I cannot even bring myself to say they're a tier 4 unit in comparison to the Omega Lancers. These Catapult Lancers, right now, as they are currently standing, are a tier 3 unit at best. And even in a tier 3 battle, I think they probably would really kind of struggle against other tier 3 kind of classes and units. I'm only really saying tier 3 because they've got a decent amount of kind of troops in them. And if you do pull off a natural charge, I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's appropriate to put them into a tier 2 green unit. I think at best they are a tier 3 blue unit and they need fixing very very quickly because right now I cannot remember the last time I saw anybody play them and after having played them for the last week getting this footage getting their levels up kind of just trying to sort these guys out honestly I can see why people don't bother playing them if you are thinking about or if you even have ever thought about unlocking these guys don't genuinely genuinely do not bother you would be better off spending all that honor on different uh, up improvement nodes for your units that you currently have or just unlocking some other units that are not these guys these guys are an absolute waste at the minute now there is meant to be a rework in the uh, kind of progress for these guys once that rework comes out i of course will do another review and see actually just how that rework has hopefully fixed these guys and made them a little bit more kind of plausible to use but right now I think this is actually one of the very few units they're going to be better to kind of just strip all the way back and start again because there is just at this current point in time I'd say there is no saving this unit whatsoever. Let me know your thoughts down below though. Are you using these guys? Have you used these guys? And what did you think of them when you did use them? Let me know as well if you are enjoying these kinds of videos because there are plenty more units that definitely need this kind of review treatment, I feel. So let me know down below what units you want me to look at next. Thank you very much for watching, folks. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I hope to catch you out on the battlefield.